Hello guys, I'm reached for the next Dragon Age game. And then it's like a DIA and, and various forms that have been real people saw us to prison after he they rebelled against them. So it's obviously was a dreadful from DA4 is named after. On the early end of the first act, DA saw us to see to this plan to tear down the veil despite your attempts to stop him. Valak is, you guess it, a companion again as well and it dies at this point. But he's not really dead, PC. He comes back and his death is just bait. Sora's story that the veil doesn't destroy the world like it was set up to believe a DIA. Instead, it unleashes the Invalor as the Elf Gods, who are really as ridiculously powerful beings as if a DIA god right can take out the Avatar forms. The veil acts as some form of change that bound them to a space between Fades and Fadus. Sora's the end of the world a, a party could handle them, but can't, but the the two boys powerful. <laughs> the game is basically about you trying to fight the Valors and stop them from blaming blame Fadus. Some others about the Dark Spawn and the Octemons as well, which tied to <coughs> and Valors, and they have any spoilers or the tight wraps. The game is called Dreadwolves, not because Souls is your enemy, but because he's trying to redeem himself by helping you and acting the same way and inconsistent he's in the DIA. No confusion. Conversation companions, but one so hard in his back as a companion, and one of the series eight is a consistent is DIA is our romance opposite first romance of a dwarf in this series. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.